Many adults chew gum all day, but students can't. Shouldn't students be allowed to chew gum during school hours? First, one benefit is that students who regularly chew gum can remember things better than those who do not. For example, in a study at the University of Northumbria, two groups were set up to memorize the same set of phone numbers, list of words, and pictures. One group chewed gum, the other did not. The group that chewed gum remembered 35% more than the group that didn't. Likewise, chewing gum can also get students higher test scores. In fact, a study done at New York University of School of Dentistry showed that students who chewed gums scored on a written test a full grade level higher than those who did not. So Jenna, what did you get on your report card? I got all F's. I got all A's. Loser. For instance, a study done at Baylor College of Medicine showed that students who chewed gum while doing their homework ended up with a final grade higher than those who did not chew gum doing their homework. Although critics point out that some recent studies have shown that chewing gum can cause headaches, which could distract and interrupt the learning of students. However, very few studies have been done that accurately say that this is a problem. Also, also gum should, should be allowed, allowed in school because it promotes health. Yay! First, many kinds of gums can help fight germs in the mouth. In short, chewing gum may activate salivary glands in the mouth. Saliva contains antibodies that fight germs all over the mouth. Gum also helps digestion. In fact, when chewing gum, the mouth produces saliva. In the saliva, there are enzymes that can help break down carbohydrates. This is because the body does not need to break them down later. Also, chewing gum preve can prevent cavities in the mouth. This is because when saliva that is produced when chewing gum flows through the mouth, it washes off bacteria that stick to the teeth and cause decay. On the contrary, critics say that not all gums will promote health. For example, non-sugar-free gum could actually cause tooth decay. However, sugar-free gum accounts for over half of the global sale of gum so this would be a smaller problem than may think. All in all, letting kids chew gum in school would help improve their health. Besides, it would also improve their school performance. Letting kids chew gum would increase their memory during school hours. In the same way, it can also help improve test scores. As a result, kids who chew gum can also end up with a higher final grades than others. In addition, chewing gum can also help fight germs in the mouth. Similarly, it can aid the digestive system by breaking down carbohydrates. Furthermore, the chewing gum can prevent cavities in the mouth. Tell your school administrators to allow gum in schools today. Yeah, gum. It is Mr. Klein, and I approve this gum.